Hi guys, welcome back to Cruiser Man's Inventions. I'm going to show you a cool little trick here with these alternators. Now as you can see, I've already bored out these holes perfectly for these magnets to go in. And when it's done, we're going to see how much power we can generate out of this just by turning it. But first of all, we want to have a look because this is one of the hardest things is right here. Is which way does the nut come off? And it comes off put those magnets aside and it comes off anti-clockwise so there we go it's coming off anti-clockwise yeah anti-clockwise <clears throat> just make sure yep anti-clockwise so if you're wondering how do i get that off which way does it turn because this here is on there as well uh, and this is a very hard thing to get to that nut and uh inside this dish and what i had to do is chop that off so that I could get a spanner on the end. I didn't know which way this came off. Uh, so anti-clockwise takes it off. And then once it was like that, I could get to that nut and take it off. And um, But first of all, I had to take the back of it off and actually get this in the vise and hold this part so I could get to that part. So it was... Because there's nothing in here that holds this apart from doing this. So anyways, guys, what we're going to do is i got a 12 volt battery here we're going to power up this coil inside here okay now there's many of different ways as you probably would have seen about powering well putting magnets inside these uh center of this rotor of this alternator now somebody has already done this trick here about putting two slip rings in there uh two uh ring magnets rather ceramic ones and these come out of a, a speaker you see those two magnets in there and very very strong i must say um does it yep yeah, it sticks there and does it repel there no it still kind of sticks and it still kind of sticks it feels like it wants to repel off this one a little bit but the force is is not great enough okay so what i'm going to do so I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you a little trick. Now this hasn't been done on YouTube before. So to determine when this is powered up through the two slip rings. If you see here I've got two wires. I've got a positive brown one and a negative uh, wire here. Blue one. The blue one's here and the brown one's here. Positive here, negative here. Okay, when I put this uh, to the battery here. It's, it's hard to test the polarity with neodymium magnets, so I have another magnet. I have a ceramic one, and it's slightly weaker, so I can test the, the power of this properly. So let's put the 12 volt battery charger on the battery. Let's boost the power up of this thing, and uh, hit this one on here, positive. All right, now let's see what happens. Whoa, yeah, pushes away. That's actually fairly hard to push this magnet down. Next one just stuck to it. Oh, look at that. Flipped over. Oh, my God. It's stuck there. Okay, so this is going to determine. Okay, it's pushing away and sticking there. Now, sticking on that one. Sticking. Okay, so remember that. Positive off, negative off, and disconnect that. So sticking on that one, which is the back side of this. Now... I'll just quickly grab these magnets, these other ones. Oh, let's stick. Okay, so we want to find that's repel. So it's the other side we need. We need to find attract, because what we're trying to do is we're going to try and power this up and use the magnets as well. So the theory is that I could run along on my e-bike with it being powered up by a 12 volt battery, which will create a magnetic field. Um, and then you could turn the mag battery off to save power and uh, run off these magnets. So here we go, attract, attract. So that side of the uh, attract. So the bottom side of this magnet would be the one to go in the hole. And the reason why I've just done that, guys, is because if the polarity was the other way, you powered up the center and it was the other way, this thing would neutralize itself out. And you wouldn't really, um, it would find it hard. You'd have phase issues. Now, see this here? All of them are going to be perfectly flat. And uh, they're going to be epoxy resined in. So 
I thought this was a really cool chance to show everybody um, how this is done. Uh, I've gone along and I've done all this side so far. So I've gone and just bought, uh, broke the piggy bank and got some araldite. Now you know that one side is the hardener and one side is the resin. And when you pour this stuff out and mix it, uh, it comes out 50-50. And then you just stir it until it's like a pale white color. And then just, you know, fill in the hole and then make sure you're, you know, it's the right way. And then put the magnet in, make sure it's flush and then uh, just wait for it to dry. Do all one side and then do the other side. So, yeah, pretty cool, guys. I will uh, keep you updated on this. This is the stator. You can see there's a lot of wire there. That's 110 amp stator. And those are the two slip rings. So this this is... There's two of those carbon slip rings in there. You can't see the one at the back, but so a uh, wire goes to each one of those, and one's, uh, this one will be positive, and the back one will be negative. So, yeah, cool. Awesome, guys, and I'll just have them poking out of separate wires out the back of you somewhere, probably out of the vents out the back. This still has its bridge rectifier in here, and I've got to take all that guff out. So yeah, that part will tap out, and which will allow me to get in there. You see one, two, three, four, five bolts, which I've already undone from the back side. And once I just tap this off carefully, without wrecking anything, don't dent up the wire, uh, then I can get in there. So yeah, guys, awesome. This is going to be so cool, this test. Awesome, guys, I'll keep you updated. Part one. Cool, cool, guys. Cruiser man out.